Hello friends, welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Game Pass. I'm Nathan and today I'm going to tell you whether this Game Pass game is worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Doom 64, a semi-forgotten cult classic. Doom 64 finally gets the exposure it deserves by being released on PC and modern systems. Was it worth digging up this old shooter? Let's find out. Doom 64 is a cross-release Xbox PC featuring Play Anywhere, which means everything crosses over, which is awesome. It's not upgraded, but it does run at 60 FPS. It is an old game, so it looks great in that regard. And lastly, this game is about 7 to 8 hours long if you're not hunting for every single secret. So what exactly is Doom 64? Well, despite what everybody probably thought when it was released on the N64 back in the day, this is not just Doom ported to the N64. It is a completely new game made by Midway with its help. This is a completely new game and it is completely in 3D, but they kept the classic Doom gameplay from the first two games as most of the weapons and enemies, though they did cut a few enemies out. The game has a more somber tone than Doom 1 and 2 as evidenced by its soundtrack, as well as some really striking visuals and lighting, particularly for the N64 era. Overall, this is Midway's attempt to make a classic Doom game, and they didn't stray too far from the template it had used for their first two Doom games. So if you've seen my Doom 1 and 2 review, it kind of covers the same thing. Expect maze-like levels, lots of enemies, key cards to open doors, and that sort of thing. So what I like about this game, Doom 64 looks really good, with some incredible lighting and some inspired visual designs. They've reimagined all the Doom enemies to be scarier and more monstrous, and I really love the new aesthetic. It's also higher res enemies, even though they're still technically 2D sprites. The game also feels fantastic to play. It feels just as good as Doom 1 and 2, if not better. The weapons are punchy, the action is fast, and the game controls really great, especially when you're not having to use the N64 controller to control it. And lastly, I really enjoyed the new soundtrack. Uh, it was written by a guy who also did the remade soundtrack for the Doom port on the PlayStation 1, and it's much more atmospheric and moody rather than the metal riffs from the first game, which really fit this game's different aesthetic. In terms of things I don't like, this first one's going to be my big one. I feel like the maps overall are just much more poorly designed than Doom 1 and Doom 2. And the main issue is that it doesn't really telegraph what your actions cause in terms of a reaction in the world. What I mean by this is you will flip a switch and something three quarters of the way across the map will change. And the game doesn't really indicate what that change is. I felt like in the first two Doom games, it had some clear pathing on what you do and what the response is. Now, it's not always perfect, but Doom 64 falls into this trap fairly often, which leads to a lot of running around being lost. The other issue I have is that this game doesn't have a lot of the modern features that the previous Doom ports had, and I don't really know why. The quick save and quick load are not default set up. You have to go and assign them to keys, which is odd. There's no quick level swapping. There's no quick item swapping. I don't know why this wasn't included. And lastly, this game's traps are just bull. Like, they will throw you into a pit with no escape, or throw you into an area where you can't get out of. Traps were common in the Doom games, but they'd always give you a way out of it. This one will put you in an area that'll force you to load to save it feels like trolling so as you know i rate games on three point scale must play maybe consider don't bother this one's a maybe consider to me doom 64 almost nails it in being a game that's just as good as doom 1 and 2 but its poor map design really brings it down a peg despite that i still think that the shooting and weapons feel amazing and the game looks great so if you have the patience or a guide there is still a ton of fun to be gleaned from this game if you love the classic doom games You'll enjoy this one and should for sure check it out. If you're not really into boomer shooters, this one isn't required reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and go out there and enjoy Doom 64.